Now's high school students are adjusting to eight hours of school without the temptation of their cell phones. As KLTV 7's Lauren Tier reports, the principal implemented a new policy to improve engagement, socialization, and mental health at his school. I'm okay with the campus being loud if it's if they're engaged and they're socializing. White House High School's new principal, William Ripley, is a longtime proponent of screen-free school days. It has been almost a week since the no cell phone policy was introduced at the high school, and Ripley brought the policy with him from White House Middle School, where he was previously principal. So I noticed that we weren't socializing. Kids weren't talking to each other when they had their phones. During lunchtime, the kids could be sitting at the same table as their friend, and instead of talking to them in person, they were chatting with them on their phone. The school's media tech specialist, Kim Carnes, notices a difference. If you say hello to a student, they actually hear you because they don't have headphones in. Lunchtime is no exception to the rule, and Ripley says some students have asked why. And my response is always the same. Uh, first of all, safety. My number one priority, I need 1,500 eyes in addition to the staff looking and, and seeing what's around them. Uh, the other thing is socialization. I want them talking to kids. And the, uh, the comment I keep getting is that power hour, lunch, and hallways are much louder than they've been because kids are talking. In addition to classroom engagement and socialization, Ripley hopes the rule will decrease the negative effects of social media on his students. Prior to not having cell phones, the amount of time that was wasted for campus administration and staff investigating incidences where kids were saying horrible things about each other on social media apps, um, they, it was such a time waster for us, and it was terrible for the kids. Under the policy, the first and second time a student is caught, the phone is taken to the front office until the end of the day when the student can pay $15 to get it back. The third time, a parent or guardian will have to come to the school to get the phone themselves. Any money collected goes into an activity fund that is used mostly to buy school supplies for teachers and students. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. Principal Ripley says he's holding himself and the staff to the same standards and wants them all to limit the use of their cell phones around the students.